Hi everyone, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. It is a very interesting video about perfect numbers. Now question is, can numbers be perfect? Yes, it can be perfect. Some numbers are perfect. Let us see what is the definition, what is their properties. So what are the perfect numbers? A perfect number n is a positive integer which is equal to the sum of its factors excluding itself. For example, first perfect number is 6. What are its factors? 6 says divisors or factors 1, 2, 3 and 6. 6 says these four factors 1, 2, 3 itself. 1 plus 2 plus 3 makes you 6. That means when the sum of the factors excluding himself or itself gives the same number, we call it a perfect number. Can 5 be a perfect number? Can 5 be perfect? Let us see. So 5 has only factor 1 and 5. So 1 does not make you 5. So it is not a perfect number. Can 12 be a perfect? Let us check. 12 has factors what 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Now according to the definition, if I add these factors excluding 12 and if this gives the result 12, then it is a perfect number. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6, does it make 12? 3 plus 6, 16, 12 plus 16, this is 16. The sum is not equal to 12. So 12 is not a perfect number. Then what will be next perfect? Next perfect is your 28. After 6, just see. Perfect, to be a perfect is not an easy thing. Out of so many numbers, you are getting first six, then we are getting eight. In between, no number is perfect. So 28 is the next perfect number. Let us see the factors. 28 has factors 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. Let us add them 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14. I'll exclude 28, this is the definition. Sum of all the factors except itself should be equal to 28. Let us see whether it is 28 or not. 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 7, 7, 14, 14 plus 14, 28. Yes. So 28 is your perfect number. So next, should we check all the numbers? We can find a formula for getting it. So here, this is the verification. The first few of the perfect numbers were already known to ancient Greeks. They are 6, 28. After 28 is 4, 9, 6 then 8, 1, 2, 8, so on. How to find more perfect number? So let us discuss a formula by which we can get perfect numbers. Euclid, the mathematician, over 2,000 years ago, showed that all even perfect numbers can be represented by n is equal to 2 to raised to the power p minus 1 
multiplies 2 to the p minus 1 where p is a prime first is p should be a prime then if i'll write for any p prime i will write 2 to the power p minus 1 and 2 to the power p whole minus 1 this will be a even perfect number so we can get perfect number starting from p is equal to 2 p2 p3 then p4 cannot be possible because 4 is not a prime then p will be 5 so on so p will be the will will be 2 3 because p should be a prime first 3 5 7 so on so n is equal to again i am writing the formula n is equal to perfect number is 2 raised to the p minus 1 to p minus 1 where p is a prime and this number is again a prime number it is called Marsen prime so n 2 to the p minus 1 to p g which where p is a prime number so this is the definition of this prime a perfect number a perfect number we can get by using this formula Now I'll start p is equal to 2. Let us see what will happen. So it will be 2 to the power 2 minus 1 multiplies 2 to the power 2 minus 1. So how much it will be? 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 into 2 to the power 4 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So I'm getting 2 into 3 that is 6. So 6 is your first perfect number. Next is P3. So 2 to the power 3 minus 1 whole into 2 to the power 3 minus 1 here. So 2 to the power 3 minus is 2 to the power 4. And 2 to the power 3 is your 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. Sorry, 2 to the power 2. So this will be 4 multiplies your 7, it is 28, 28 is the next perfect number. So can I put in the formula p value 4? No, because p is 4 is not prime. So then I will go for 5, 5 is a prime number, so I will write 2 to the power 5 minus 1 multiply 2 to the power 5 minus 1 that is equal to 2 to the power 4 multiply this will be how much 2 to the power 5 is 32 to multiply 5 times so 32 minus 1 is 31 so 16 multiplies 31 you can multiply 16 6 times 1 61 496 so 496 is the third perfect number so on we can get the numbers p6 we will not put then we will put p to 7 so 2 to the power 7 minus 1 multiplies 2 to the power 7 minus 1 so it will be 2 to the power 6 into 2 to the power 7 minus 1 you can multiply 2 to the power 7 how many times it will be to 30 2 to the power 5 is 32 then this will be 64 this will be your 128 minus 1 then 64 into 127 then you will get another number so on so the first five perfect numbers are 6 28 496 1 8 1 2 8 and 3 3 5 5 5 0 3 5 6 now history where when it was counted or came into the picture it is not known when perfect numbers were 
first discovered or when they were studied it is thought that they may even have been known to the egyptian and may have even been known before although the ancient mathematicians knew the existence of the perfect numbers it was that greeks who took a keen interest in them especially pythagorean garas and his followers so this video is dedicated to pythagoras the great mathematician so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video